what's going on guys this is your boy cmb don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash that like button and let's get into this one really quickly now guys want to do a quick uh, post fight reaction to the main event last night on showtime of course i'm talking about omar figueroa jr versus sergey lipinets uh, if you guys didn't know sergey lipinets stepped in uh, for adrian broner uh, who pulled out of the fight about a week ago uh, due to mental health uh, issues. Now, this this late replacement, I would say, uh, was detrimental to Omar Figueroa Jr., in my opinion. I thought uh, he probably could have had a better chance at beating Adrian Broner than this version of Sergey Lipinets. Uh, Sergey Lipinets wind up uh, stopping uh, Omar in the eighth round. Uh, actually, his corner pretty much threw in the towel. They stopped the fight uh, because of all the punishment he was taking. Uh, I'm going to say it's uh, Sergey Lipinets uh, looks really good at 140. Uh, I think that's where he should have stayed. Uh, you guys know he did go up to 147. And uh, he had some success at 147 uh, until he ran into Jerron Boots Ennis, who uh, brutally knocked Sergey Lipinets out. Uh, so Sergey went back to the drawing board. Uh, he changed trainers. Uh, he was working with uh, Joe Goosen, and now he's working with uh, Justin Platoon. And you could you could see in the fight that he you know he looked like he added on some muscle. Uh, he was sitting down on his punches a lot harder, uh, investing a lot uh, in body work in the fight. Uh, his right hand was on point. Uh, nice crispy jab. Uh, just really taking it to. Omar Figueroa Jr. Uh, dropping him in the second round with a right hand and uh, both of the guys you know they were fighting in the phone booth and I think that was the wrong game plan uh, for Omar Figueroa Jr. to fight somebody like Sergey Lipinets who does have respectable power in my opinion in, in his show last night so uh, congratulations to Sergey Lipinets uh, I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with at 140 uh, he feels comfortable there he looks good up there and there's a lot of great fights at 140 now uh, for somebody like him. And you guys know he is a former champion at 140. Uh, he's only lost two fights uh, that won to Boots and he lost uh, uh, the IBF title to uh, Mikey Garcia. So those are only two losses that he have on his record. So uh, I, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on Sergey Lipin. Yes, I think you know he's going to do good things at 140. Like I said, there's some good fights there. Uh, there's Ryan Garcia's up there. Tiafimo Lopez, uh, Regis Prograde, Josh Taylor, Gary Antoine Russell, uh, just to name a few guys up there. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think uh, about Sergey Lipinets' performance last night. And he pretty much, like I said, sent, uh, he sent Omar Figueroa Jr. in retirement last night. I think this is the last time we're going to see Omar in the ring, at least for a while. But uh, you guys tell me what you think. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.